Seaweed is an amazing resource. It's something that we call a superfood. It has an order of magnitude more vitamins and minerals than any leafy green that we can grow on the planet. And it's vastly underutilized here in the US. But this underused algae isn't just for humans. Researchers are studying a specific kind of seaweed to feed to cows. We've been working on trying to expand an industry for seaweed consumption by humans and came across some research about this red seaweed asparagopsis taxiformis. As I started reading more about that research, I became really excited about it because it has the potential to dramatically reduce methane emissions across the planet, not just here in the US. Inside Science. Methane is a powerful greenhouse gas that can be emitted during production of coal, natural gas, and oil. But it also comes from this. One of the greatest sources of methane emissions on the planet is belching cows. 95% of the methane that cows produce comes out of their mouth, not the other end, unlike what most people might think. In fact, it's a greenhouse gas that is 30 times more potent than CO2. Now, researchers say this red-colored seaweed could help reduce the methane cows burp out. The seaweed contains compounds that stop the production of methane during the digestion process. Adding a small amount of seaweed to cattle feed has the potential to cut methane produced by the animals by more than 50%. When cows aren't producing as much methane, they're actually able to use their food resources more efficiently, so they can actually digest more of their food rather than just burping it out. Researchers say the seaweed is intended to be added to the cow's diet as a supplement. We're not gonna be able to feed cows bales of seaweed. We're not gonna replace their grain diet with seaweed. According to Smith, many farmers are on board with the idea of seaweed supplements for cows. I've talked to a number of livestock farmers around the country actually, and people are really interested in this as a potential methane mitigating solution. To think about in 10 years that we could be going past a dairy farm and to think that we helped reduce methane emissions in those cows by 70%. In my lifetime, we'll be able to see the reductions in greenhouse gas emissions because of this. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.